Hey guys, I am so excited. It's 2023. Oh my goodness, you guys. Happy 2023. How did you guys spend your New Year's? <laughs> Just let me know in the comment section. Okay, <clears throat> this is what I did. I woke up to making some pancakes, basically. That's how I started off my New Year's. So yeah, <laughs> yeah so that's already a good sign. Um, but I literally just slept and then literally like 15 minutes um, before midnight, I found um, a countdown and I just did that and I was like, yay, 2023, and then I went to sleep. So I was getting sleep, much needed sleep. Okay, yes. Um, so yeah, let me know what you guys did. Can you believe that it's already 2023? I kept saying, I kept saying that 2023. 22 just disappeared like as soon as january came <laughs> the best month <laughs> as soon as january came around then it was like boom now we're into 2023 so i'm super excited we made it you guys um it's a fresh start clean slate like yeah have you guys done your goals did you do your vision boards um you know i'm I don't really like to call them vision boards because I don't want to get into anything weird. So um, I guess I do call it a vision board, but I look at it as a goals board. Um, just writing down my goals and then the ways that I'm going to attain those goals. We can sit around and talk about all the stuff we want to do, should do, can do, gonna do, and then just never do it. And sometimes I think the problem is that um, we don't set out with a plan of how to get those things. Like for me, mine is like basically climbing up a mountain, the things that I need to do for 2023. And I'm going to show you guys my vision board and then my gratitude pages. And then I'm also going to show you guys basically how I'm getting my life together um, in 2023, because you know that I'm a planner. You guys know I'm a lister, a planner. Um, I do scrapbooks. I do memory books. Um, I do journals and they're fun, you guys, but I literally stick to doing them because they relieve stress. If you're not relieving your stress, that's going to build up in your body. Hello, heart attack. You know what I mean? Depression, just low self worth. So, uh, uh, nope. Get your card stock out, your markers, your color pencils, your planners, your paper. I don't care if it's literally just a piece of paper and a pen. Get those things out and start on your goals. It does not have to be anything fancy. You don't have to cut up magazine pictures if you don't want to or use stickers. You don't have to be an artist. Um, just write them out and then do a little at a time. You don't have to put 1,000 goals. That's going to be overwhelming. Just start off with the main goals um, like for me, I'm doing basically mine is kind of um, set up towards the first um, six months, but I will show you guys that. Anyhow, let me show you guys my journal. I'm kind of stepping away from the happy planner. You guys know I use the happy planner system um, most of the time. But this time, um, I'm going back to Agenda 52. I love this brand. It's sold only at Hobby Lobby. Um, and go when they have when they're having the 40 and 50 percent off do not ever pay full price at these places I have a line journal that reads every day is a new adventure It surely is and it surely will be and then here's my planner It's just it feels so weird to not have a happy planner. You guys know I showed you my planner um, With the binders. I mean with the not the binders with the disc so you can pull paper out and add paper But I'm okay because I just wanted something different this is my actual planner. I have um, a planning account on TikTok. I have a planning account on Instagram. I have a planning channel, but I just like, you know, recording over here. So um, follow those so that you guys can see how I'm organizing this journal and this planner. And then I did get some New Year's stickers. Um, oh, and then Hobby Lobby has 12 cent two pack um, mask and I got a couple of those um, and then I got some cardstock because um, when you guys also know I love to color 
So I print the images on cardstock and then color them. So follow my planning accounts, my Hobby Girl accounts for all of that sort of fun. And then I also want to show you guys, I printed that out, this out to Nicole's 2023 journey. And then um, it has my vision board. I've got a self-care list and my daily journal page. And I'll go more into that as I show you guys my very extra 2023 vision board. Um, this is a written one. I'm also going to do one that is um, digital and then one where I just kind of use, you know, pictures and everything and do it that way. It's so extra, I know, because I put my picture up there. I was just designing something and printed this out and I was just like, why not? So <clears throat> this one is broken down into wealth, health, love, family, career, spirituality, and knowledge. And then at the bottom, I wrote, I can and I will, because um, I'm also going to show you guys, um, I print these out and make these myself. I'm thinking of, you know, having where you guys can um, maybe purchase these from my website if you want to get organized in this way. Um, as well. So this is my daily journal. Well, let me just go through my vision board first and then. <clears throat> so for wealth, um, I have business revenue, savings, social media, budgeting, um, basically, which will all lead to a house for my son and I. And then I am trying to get another car. Um, that is my goal for 2023. So here, you can see those. Of course, I want to increase my resin revenue from my business um, and get more of a substantial solid savings emergency backup. Um, social media, I do have an announcement, you guys. I am now monetized on three, uh, on three platforms. I was so excited, couldn't even get it out. I'm monetized on YouTube. Then I got monetized on Facebook. Can you guess the next one? Instagram. So yes, you guys, I will be getting paid basically to post from all three. The next one is TikTok. I can't wait. My goal um, is to get monetized on TikTok. So that goes under wealth. And then my health goals, um, I would like to lose a large amount of weight. Although I'm not going to lie, I look good, you know, how I am. Um, <clears throat> I've never had a problem, <laughs> okay? Um, but I've, I've never had a problem, you know, <laughs> if you know what I mean, but just within myself, I know that I need to slim down and get healthier and bring my blood pressure numbers down. I want to increase my water intake, sleep more, get on and walk more. And then under, under the love category, um, <clears throat> more love to my children basically, and then practice more self care making sure I'm getting to the doctor. Like I said, this ties in with the health goals as well. And then I am open to, of course, starting over, um, opening up my heart again to finding real love. If you guys have watched, then you know that I am um, separated from, you know, my husband. Um, and I mean, we haven't lived together in such a long time. We're in different states. Um, and you know, I will be filing. <laughs> um, I don't want to go too far into that, but, you know, eventually, once all that is done and legal, you know, um, then, you know, <clears throat> I'm not going to be, you know, just, I guess, single forever. Like, you know what I mean? <laughs> I eventually hope to, you know, find a really, you know, good guy. Um, <clears throat> uh, but that's what within, but that's with time to come, you know what I mean? This is not anything like happening right now, of course. Um, and then family increased my quality time with my kids and my family, um, encouraging them and being the best role model that I possibly can be. And then, um, career as far as growth, happiness, stability, spirituality, daily praying, daily Bible reading, gratitude, humility, and then knowledge. Um, basically, I want to increase my Bible knowledge, um, knowledge and finances, credit and business. That's all that's on here. Um, and then I'm going to organize ways that I'm going to practice my self-care. I made a little self-care sheet 
Here is my first entry for January 2023 as far as journaling. Okay. Yep. That's all that I wrote for January 1st. Like I said, you can catch all of this on my planning accounts, which I will link those so that it's easy to find. And then here's um, my daily gratitude. I'm going to have a monthly overview gratitude and then daily with a little snowman right there. And yes, I did design these, you guys. All of this stuff that I'm showing you, I designed myself. And so um, I'm going to build this into a huge booklet. So, well, a binder basically. So, yeah. And speaking of saving money, you guys, do not sleep on Goodwill. This shirt that I'm wearing and lots of shirts that you guys see me wearing uh yeah goodwill um yeah and i always go in there and then they announce that a particular color you know they have tags um that are in color and there's always one color that's 50 percent off so i grab those and the shirts that i'm buying are like a dollar 89. this shirt is very long um it's off the shoulder i love a beautiful romantic feminine oh my gosh I just love softness I love being a woman and I love showcasing that and um, see this blouse it's it's gorgeous you guys I paid two dollars two dollars okay so that's what I mean by budgeting saving and being more of a thrifty person um, so yeah and then my daughter was saying you know mommy you literally should get into like doing fashion videos she said you should focus more on that because you know you, you always get compliments on your fashion you look good and everything so just show that off and I was just like yeah but you know that's a little harder to film just by yourself so if you guys want me to do more like fashion hauls show you what I'm buying and then um, model them for you or try on them for you then I can do that you know what I mean or just give you ideas of how to put things together um, just from your own wardrobe you know okay also I wanted to mention I want to show you guys that most of the bundles remember the black friday bundles that i had that have the candy the lip glosses lip oils and everything have sold out but i have two left and so i'm doing 50 percent off on a lot of things you guys i think these were 24.99 and then one of them was 19.99 here they are i have i think what two red ones left you guys i'm literally going to make these 50 percent off so you better get to my website to get these goodies um and this one has remember the pencils that you guys love the pencils sold out fast the pencils sold out remarkably faster than anything um so yes i will be restocking for spring thank you guys for shopping with me um and just being supportive and being on this journey with me i have so much you know, new and different um, videos and ideas lined up for you guys for 2023. So please subscribe, thumbs up this video, and uh, yeah, meet me back here for some more. All right.